everyone. Um, since it's been a few weeks since I got my Mimi skincare box, I thought I'd do a bit of a recap on the products. Um, I've watched a lot, an awful lot of Mimi box and boxings, and I haven't seen many recaps. And of course, if you're getting something from Korea, if you live in the UK or America, or whatever, um, you're not used to seeing these products before. And I was keen to try them out, but I wasn't necessarily sure about maybe what ingredients were used. Um, you kind of hear bad things about um, Asian whitening products having harsh chemicals in. Um, so I just wanted to um, show the products after I'd, I've tried everything, give you a little bit of my thoughts on them and tell you a bit more about them And since I've done a bit more research on all the products. Okay, so let's start off with this um, little rose balancing toner. To be honest, I haven't done as much research on these two because they're so tiny, but I have tried them both, so I'll let you know. Um, this is alright, it smells nice, it's just kind of a wet toner. Um, on the card, if I can grab it, there it shows that it comes in a pump bottle and this little bottle here, it's almost impossible to get out of, it's too thick. And it just kind of it just doesn't come out. You've got to shake it really, really hard to get the product to come out. But it smells okay. This has got a light rose scent. Um, but it smells quite nice. It's alright. I can't really give you that much information about them because I haven't really tried it that much and there's not really enough there for me to be able to try it. Um, this one, the Very Coarse Advanced Power Tightening Cream. This is like a gel moisturiser. Um, it's meant to hydrate and nourish and tighten the skin and it's got lotus flower water, collagen, ferments and peptide compounds in it. Um, I've seen, after doing a bit, little bit of research on this and I've seen reviews on other blogs of this and it, a full size of this did come in another Mimi box. Um, I do think this is quite nice, it's got a light citrusy scent. It gives the skin a somewhat kind of matte finish actually once it's rubbed in. And it's quite, um, it's not as jelly-like a feeling as some of the other um, gel creams that I've used before. So it would have been nice to maybe have a bigger sample of that one, but I think it's perfectly fine. I didn't see any horror stories when I googled it or anything about it. Um, but again, there's not, I haven't got that much information for you, sorry on them too. Um, I have much more information on everything else. Um, so let's start with go on with the plumping jelly. I think this was meant to be the main like showstopper of the box. It's supposed to be $77 for this size. It's 50 grams and it's a full size. It's got this quite cute packaging, uh, the spatula, and comes in this pink glass jar but the product is also pink. And it's like this really gloopy jelly consistency. If you can see this spatula is quite hooked and I can tell you now if you didn't have this hooked spatula it would be impossible to get anything out of this because um, it does have the consistency of jelly. It's one of these um, strained consistencies. I don't know if you ever had that um, made that amorphous liquid when you were a kid where you could grab it and pick it up and it would feel solid when you pressed it firmly and then it immediately, as you picked it up, it would run out through your fingers. It's kind of a bit like that. When you kind of stick into it, you can like cut through the jelly and make a hole. But then within a couple of seconds, it'll like ooze back together again. And see, it's like it's cut like jelly, but if I leave it, it'll start to run. It's a really strange texture. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the texture on my face. I think it's... It's it, even though it says it's not sticky, um, I think it is a bit sticky when you put it on. It does. Um, you can blend it in quite well. Um, I think it's nice enough. I'm not uh, blown away by it, and it wouldn't be my first choice of moisturiser. See, when you first um, rub it in, it kind of feels quite watery, and then it, as it dries down, it goes, it gets a bit stickier. I definitely wouldn't buy it again, but I've been trying to use it a bit more in the last week, so I could give you a better opinion of it. When I had a look at the ingredients online, I googled all the ingredients I could find. Um, I think I did find online where they had somewhere where they had the ingredients listed in English, 
and, and I didn't find anything that was untoward or nasty in it. Um, everything seemed fine to me and it's got um, blueberry, orange, almond, broccoli, pumpkin and salmon egg extracts in it. So it's uh, mostly the other ingredients are like water and, and gelling agents and then all the active ingredients are these different um, fruit, vegetable and salmon egg extracts. And it's meant to be um, plumping and treat signs of ageing and moisturise your face uh, to work out it's meant to plump out your face for a more naturally 3D look but basically it's quite a light moisturising cream with a few um, sort of antioxidant type ingredients I think yeah it's alright I think I probably I probably will use it up I don't know how well I'll, I'll keep using it I haven't found it's made my skin oily or anything um, I don't think it's as nice as my Pro Collagen Marine Cream, but it's certainly okay. I think it's definitely something that would go on well under makeup, because um, it doesn't really have, it's only got a really, really small amount of oil in it, it's not going to make your makeup slip off. So maybe I might try that next time, is to put it on underneath my makeup. Right, the next thing is the White Dew from Dew Tree um, 7 Cut Extreme Serum. Um, this is the one I was most concerned about when I got it in the box, because it says it's meant to have a whitening effect or oh, it says because it says white dew um, in the product description it says it's free from parabens, mineral oil, mineral oil sorry, sulfates trimethylamine benzophen sorry they're all really hard to pronounce something that starts with benzo uh, synthetic dyes, talc and synthetic fragrances and it says on the side of the packet in English here um, the seven things it is without and then it has a full list of ingredients in English on the side and directions which is quite nice it says it is um, most useful for those troubling with excess freckles, dark spots, uneven skin tone and sagging skin it will work to soothe, tighten and brighten up your skin for a silkier, healthier looking complexion um, I've just been through all the ingredients in this and most of them are water, um, gelling agents, moisturising agents and then the only active ingredients I can see in here are grapefruit um, extract, folic acid ferment extract, uh, lemon fruit oil, jasmine oil, um, another type of plant oil, which I did Google and it was something I'd heard of but I've forgotten what it was now, um, pearl powder, which really is just going to give it a slight shim shimmer effect possibly and then some vitamin B and vitamin C, that's all that's in it so I couldn't see anything that was particularly whitening I think um, it's more a issue of culture and that in Korea having whiter or brighter skin is quite um, is desirable and it isn't the UK in the same um, but not quite, we just don't call it quite the same thing. We would say a brightening serum, whereas they've said a whitening serum. And I think it's just a cultural thing, really. I don't think it's designed to actually physically lighten your skin. I think it's designed to brighten it. It's, as I said, it's just got moisturisers and then the active ingredients seem fairly innocuous to me. And not anything that would be damaging. Um, it seems to be designed to, with sensitive skins in mind. And I have been using this for a few weeks now and I haven't had any issues with irritation or anything. I haven't had any issues with irritation with anything. I do think it's quite nice. It does have a light scent, um, but it's not fragranced. It, the scents just come from the oils. I think mainly it's, to be honest, grapefruit and jasmine. With maybe a bit of lemon. It's pretty much what it says on the tin, really. Um, but I do call that. The only thing I kind of struggle with is it's got this pump bo um, top syringe and I find it difficult to get the right amount of product out with this. It's either not enough or too much. It's quite difficult to accurately um, pump out the right amount. But in the same respects, this kind of inner section here actually scrapes off the excess product of the syringe and stops it getting everywhere. And I've heard other ones with the syringe that you dip in out the bottle that kind of gets stuck around the top and then it kind of comes out around the screw top and then all the top of the bottle ends up stuck up with serum all the time. And that doesn't seem to be happening with this one. So I quite like that. Um, I'll continue using it. I haven't noticed. Um, I have noticed that my skin has been a little bit better, but 
not really dr drastically, but I think I will keep using it until it's empty. And um, I'm quite happy to get that one. It's not my favourite thing, I would say it's probably my third favourite thing in the box. And the next one... The next thing in the box is also from Dewtree, and this is the Porest Powder in Toner. Um, also meant to mention that both of these are part of a full skincare range so the white dew they have everything from the cleanser to the toner to the serum to the essence and um, also the moisturiser and that's the same with the power in toner as well powder in sorry so I don't know if you can see this there's like a solid bit in the bottom and the idea of this is it has um, clay and kaolin in and there's another clay extract in here I found out when I looked at the ingredients and you meant to shake them up like that and then apply it to your face as a toner and it's, it says it's highly moist facial toner enriched with green clay, green tea leaf and extracts for treating blemishes and other impurities clung up enlarging your pores uh, its secret formula lies in treating enlarged pores without dehydrating the skin so this sounded right up my um, street I've kind of got combination skin but I don't like to s strip it of its moisture I think it tends to make it worse if I do that um, again, all the um, ingredients seem fairly fine to me. The main active ingredients are tea tea leaf extract, um, there's a mushroom extract, and then the different clays. So there's kaolin, uh, there was green clay, and zinc oxide, and there's another clay extract in there as well, which I think, from what I could read, is actually a thickening agent. Um, and, but this one does have a fragrance in it, which actually smells really, really nice. It kind of smells like sweets, but in a fresh way. Sounds very strange. I'm not really a fan of sweet sm smells, but I do actually think this smells really, really lovely. Um, I've used this a few times. I do think I will definitely use this. Um, I'm just using a um, acid based exfoliating toner at the minute and I don't know whether I want to kind of combine that which is quite acne fighting and a bit drying with another possibly slightly drying toner as well I think or maybe I might start doing this one in the morning and have the other one at night I'm not sure I haven't really decided yet um, but I think I will use it I think I'm, I was glad to get this I think it's a nice product One of the products I've really been liking in this box is this Voskian's 5th edition Cycle Spot Wrinkle. Sorry, Cycle, Cycle Wrinkle. Ah. One of the products I've really been enjoying in this box is the Voskian's 5th edition Cycle Repair Wrinkle Spot Cream. And it's designed, um, it says, this softly applying spot cream for tracing fine lines and wrinkles on your face, packed with glycomate ferments peony root extracts and something else. Uh, essential on the skin and very effective in filling those fine lines. It's especially recommended to be used around your eyes because its anti-wrinkle formula is much stronger than the average eye cream. And that's what I've been using it as. I've been using it as an eye cream. Um, I did test it beforehand on a, some, a different area of my face and like, I left it a good um, 24 hours to see if it reacted with anything. And then I kind of um, used it around my like eye socket area and then I've slowly brought it in over the course of a few days so I, I did check for quite a long time I, I, I did spend a time making sure that I didn't have any reactions to this particularly with it going around my eyes unfortunately I haven't been able to find out very much about this product there is various bits and bobs on the internet um, most of it's written in Korean and I can't find anywhere where I, where I can get a good translation of it again I had a good search um, it is available on eBay and things, uh, and I haven't didn't see anything any, anything anywhere that made me concerned. So I have been using this. It's got a really really like like classic um, cream scent. It's not scented. It's just the scent of the cream really. It's quite a thick white cream. It's really quite nice and moisturising. It's not too heavy. Um, and I think it definitely has some kind of silicon in it. It definitely has that kind of velvety feel after it's dried down. But I find it, it actually been really liking this. It stays slightly moist around your eyes for hours afterwards, like pretty much all day, all the entire time you've got it on. But it never feels too much or oily or greasy. 
it's just nice and moisturising. It just has this kind of slightly velvety texture. I think quite often these kind of creams have silicones in just to kind of fill in the fine lines a little bit and kind of smooth out the skin texture. Um, but I've been enjoying this and it's massive. Like 50, I think 15ml is the standard size for an eye cream but it lasts, it's going to last me a really long time. I think it's something I've noticed quite a bit in the Mimi box unboxings that either if you get a full size product it's like the size you buy, you get it in the UK or the US, um, a kind of standard size, not a smaller version like a standard good middle of the road size, or it's enormous. I did see somebody who got an eye cream, and I'm not kidding, it was like the size you'd normally get a hand cream in, never mind a moisturiser, it was enormous. It was, she said she'd be using it for the rest of her life, and I think it would last you years, I think, because it's a bit of a pity really, because most um, cosmetic products only are okay to be open for about a year. And this last thing is probably my favourite thing in the box. It is the Benton Snail Bee High Content Essence. And this is a bit of a strange one, really. Um, it is the main ingredient that in this is snail secretion filtrate, so which is filtered and purified um, snail goop, basically. Um, it's also got aloe vera gel in it and... Um, various other things. It's got um, willow bark, elm, it's also got bee venom in it, purified bee venom, and something called EFG, which does have some um, concerns about it. I'm not too worried. There is various products in the UK which are available with EFG in it, but there is some concerns about that, but I'll let you do your own research and just sort of make up your own decisions about that. I'm not particularly concerned myself. Uh, and this is an essence. The idea of this is that you use it between your toner and your serum and it's meant to be like quite a watery, like a thick toner almost. And it's like quite a thin watery gel consistency and like one pump will do your whole, whole face so it does um, absorb in quite easily. But this is meant to be moisturising and then to kind of exfoliate and encourage your skin to act more, um, to function better. I think that's what this is meant to do. And there is a whole range that goes with with this. The Snail Bee, I, Snail Bee has a whole uh, range in Benton's products and they're all available on the Mimi Box website. Um, but I've actually been really enjoying this. My skin definitely likes this extra dose of water after I've washed it rather than extra moisturiser from or extra oils it definitely seems to like this extra dose of water and I think it's looked a lot better since I've been using this um, I've ordered another Mimi box which is going to have an essence come with it so I think they're starting to come into the UK now so hopefully sooner or later you'll be able to get them in the kind of drugstore brands and it might be something I introduce into my regime all the time because it's kind of one of these things that the in the UK in American markets they quite often don't cater for dehydration I think even oily skins can normally are better off if you add some more water in there um, into the mix as much as you can so it's but it's obviously something that's been in um, Korean skincare for quite a while. It's something I noticed um, across this box is that pretty much um, only really, sorry, the wrinkle cream has any is like a classic classic cream formula. Everything else is like a jelly formula. It's definitely something they like. Um, I don't know how um, convinced I am about the jelly formula, but I haven't had any problems with any of these products. Um, I really. I'm really quite pleased I got this box. I think this kind of array of products suits my combination skin. There's nothing too heavy for it. Uh, there's nothing irritating for it. It's all quite um, suitable. I've got combination skin but I don't like to use stuff that's really heavily focused on um, acne unless it's the, the specific products that I use but I, I wouldn't necessarily I definitely wouldn't go and pick up whatever Clearasil's just brought out. I, I know it would just wouldn't be any good for my skin. Um, but I think these all 
worked with my skin quite well. I think possibly they have these kind of lighter formulas because they have many more steps in their skincare regime because I think it's meant to be oil cleanser, foam cleanser, toner, essence, up to three different serums and they'll like mix and match their serums to uh, for the different skincare concerns, lotion, moisturiser and then possibly like a sleep pack which is um, like a leave on overnight moisture mask as well so it makes sense that things are in a thinner texture because you can apply more products so yeah that's my um, what I think of all my products sorry it's a bit of a long video um, but keep an eye out on my channel because there'll be more Mimi boxes coming up thank you very much everybody have a good day don't forget to like and subscribe bye